What are you hearing from the ground in China? Um, you know, as you mentioned, it, it's, it's this confusion that exists right now. There, the Premier Li held a, a pretty rare video call this week uh, with thousands of cadres across the nation uh, down to the county level. So the people actually implementing these policies and he urged them uh, to focus on economic growth, to hit these targets. Um, we talked to uh, a few of those people, and for them, the calculation is really who's who's in charge. You know, is it Xi Jinping or is it Li Keqiang? And all indications are that she is going to be around much longer than Li. So, on the ground level, the calculation is still that you have to focus on getting rid of COVID cases before you start ramping up economic projects. And this is just, a, you know, part, partly a self-interested kind of dynamic for everyone who's, who's thinking of their future within the Communist Party. How do you get promoted there? At the same time, we are seeing uh, certainly uh, bolder statements from the U.S., from Anthony Blinken. Uh, you've got the Australian Foreign Minister, Penny Wong, uh, making the new government's presence and stance very much felt during her Pacific visit, talking about these partnerships with no strings attached. Is there a sense that the U.S. and its allies are perhaps looking to leverage some of the weakness that we see domestically in China at the moment? There's certainly that aspect to it. Partly this is just the U.S. getting its ducks in a row after the Donald Trump administration. Uh, we're, we're finally seeing Joe Biden do what, what he promised to do, which was to work with allies more to set up a cohesive strategy against China. The Blinken speech um, overnight was part of that, just framing the issue, saying we're not going to change China's behavior anymore. We tried that under the Trump administration with the trade negotiations, and it didn't actually work. So the strategy now is to focus on shaping the environment around China, and that's by trying to win over these, these third parties, um, you know, the Pacific nations for one, ASEAN for another. You see a lot more engagement um, uh, with the Quad kind of directing that all, India, Australia, Japan, U.S. So there's a lot more engagement in, in a bunch of different forums aimed at trying to counter China and shape China's uh, behavior that way through, through kind of changing the environment in Asia.